YouTube, man, what's up? Y'all already know who it is. It's Sensational j -Row. Yeah, I want to give y'all another Dreadlock update. And before I proceed, I want to tell y'all that lately, my scalp has been so itchy. And the reason for this is I haven't been moisturizing or greasing my scalp like I should. And let me tell you this, even with that, bro, I have what you call like a sensitive scalp. I have growing dandruff too. So as my hair grow, I get more dandruff also. So I be itching throughout the day. I be scratching my scalp and stuff like that. But it's also because my hair is just, my dreads are consistently just growing. So I have to be on point with that. I have real sensitive, um, a real sensitive scalp, but and the fact that I even I'm always scratching and always playing with my scalp. Don't forget that stimulates hair growth. That that make your hair growth. You know when you when you always scratching and rubbing it and you don't massaging it. So so and sometimes I do that so much that even when my scalp is not itching, bro, I find myself just scratching my hair or massaging my scalp and all that. Like even now, bro, that feel good, you know. So, but I want to give y'all a dreadlock update. I want to let y'all see my hair, and like I said a few days ago, y'all watched my other video, I took my dreads down, but I'm going to let y'all see the length, so. This is the front. Come up a little bit so y'all can see that. They got to duck down a little bit, but y'all can see they, they hanging, man. They're like to my, my belly button, you know, so. Yeah. Y'all see the side. This side angle, man. And like I said, my hair is just so thick, bro. Y'all see the other side. No. Yes, sir. Let y'all see the back side. No. That's what I'm talking about, man. Had just hanging, man. Dreads just draping, man. <laughs> I remember when I first started these, bro. That's crazy. Yep. Yep. Y'all see how long they is, and y'all know how dreads is. They get even longer when you pull them. But I'm there. I'm, I'm down, all down my back, bro. You know, they ain't into my waist. So, it's just pure motivation, y'all. Um, pure motivation, just don't give up. Just keep on doing what you have to do and what you want to do because they your dreads, you know, no matter how you choose to rock them, wear them, style them, or the product you choose to put on top of your head, you know, you can only take advice for, you know, the uh, people, that, the vets that's in the game like me, but I can only tell you what worked for me. You know, you can pull out uh, some information from what I gave you and apply it to your own dreadlock, and hopefully it do you some wonders and it works out for you. So I just wanted to let y'all see that. And as y'all can see, y'all see the color. Y'all see the, the dot, see this color that's faded off uh, like blonde. Y'all know that came off from, um, you know, when you dye your hair, you have to uh, lighten it first. So, so as the, so I, like, even this color, like, you see how you see, like, the greenish turquoise. Like, how y'all see the green and turquoise? I put, like, it's kind of like, I have to show y'all again, but I'm pretty sure it's in, I, I'm pretty sure it's in one of my uh, older videos, but I use that. And I put it on top of the blonde part. I just like the way it look on top of the blonde dread. Now, this color will fade off and the whole dread will be back blonde. So, the, the dreads that you see that got color in them, these are the dreads that I will always, if I'm going to choose to color them, I always put dye on top of these. The one that's already cut color. I'm not doing no more like that. Only like this. If, if I choose, I want to put red or something in it or, or whatever. 
then I'm gonna put it on this one because this is already colored. And remember, um, I need to do better in this area too, but remember, I always keep your dread moisturized, especially the ones that you have put dye on because those are the most brittle ones and become very dry because they've already, you've already sucked out the, the uh, essential natural oils that are already in them to dye them and lighten them up and stuff like that. So, let me grab this camera. So, so yeah, I recommend that. I like my dreads. I like my style. Uh, it's just how I choose to rock them. You know, so, works for me. And I just got them hanging right now, you know. Still got the crinkle in. A bit, you know. Well, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, like I said, uh, real soon I put another style in, but uh, right now I'm just letting my dreads breathe and stuff like that. But um, y'all can see I'm always putting some, doing something new to my dreadlocks, and this. And the reason that I'm doing different stuff is to um, stretch my hair out to make it even grow grow longer than what you see now. You know, so sometimes you got to play with your hair, but it's like you got to let your hair breathe too. You also have to do that. But my dress are dry right now. I might have to, I'm going to, I'm actually going to get some Jamaican mango and lime spray and I'm going to start spraying my dress or whatever spray I choose to. But couple times out of the week I'm um I'ma spray them like I see like in some areas my dread loss are you see that this is weak look at this you see this you see how this is weak this is very weak this is what you call very weak dread lock and these are the dreads that have been through so much and they get dry in certain areas that they get so weak and then Sometimes you might have your hair in a ponytail. You might be laying down my hair so long that I might pull it and tug it and yank it and make it even more weak. Now, with a dread like this, I will, I'll probably nine times out of ten, I'll probably try to um, attach this to a stronger dread. And when I attach this to a stronger dread, this will... Um, me attaching that dread to a stronger dread will make that dread more sturdy and make it more stronger and it will save this dread so if or if i don't then i just have a broken dread another smaller dread and i don't want that i don't want that like if for example you see this it's two-headed dread and this is two-headed because it was going to be a weaker dread but since i combined them and i put them, them together now the dread is stick and now it is long you feel me and if I wanted to, I can just twist this around each other and let them lock together. But this is cool, though, because it's, it's safe. The good thing about having dreads, bro, is that you can save your dreads, bro. That's the good thing about having dreads. You can save them. You know, I always have to just pull them out. You can combine them, so. But, yeah, I just want to give y'all the dreadlock update, man. So, I hope y'all have a good one, man. Thanksgiving was the other day. I hope y'all had a good time with y'all family. And... Y'all just continue to do what y'all need to do, handle y'all business. Y'all already know who it is. It's sensational. Zero, y'all. Yeah.